Hello, this is Ginger again, and I'm going to show you how I make this cute little heart charm. I know there's a lot that are already out there, but I feel that this one has a, a better distinct shape once it comes off the loom. So I'm going to show you how I make this one, okay? Basically, you need about 20 color, 20 bands of the color that you want. And if you want to make a little charm, then you have the color that you want the uh, loop to be, okay? So first, Set your loom up like this. You're going to have them um, all one length or you know, even with each other, okay? Start with the arrow pointing away from you. The first band that you're going to do, you're going to double it and put that right in the middle. Actually, take one band and stick it on the end just like this, okay? Makes it easier when you want to do your the finish, okay? Now let's start with looping. Taking a single band and doubling it, putting it right in the middle, just like that. All right. Take two bands, two bands, and put it from the middle to the right side, and then do the same thing to the other side. So two bands, put it to the middle, to the other side, like that. Okay. Now you're gonna go up <coughs> this the side. Take two bands. Put it up to the side like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Two bands. And up like this. And double the middle again, okay? So take a single band, twist it. So it's double, nice and tight. All right, just like that. Okay? Now take two more double bands. Put them on the side. Up like that. Two more bands. And on the other side. All right. Now here, you're going to go from here to here, and you're going to do a double band again. So double band it. Now go from the middle to the top right, just like that, nice and tight. Do that again to the other side. Middle to the left side. Oops. Middle to the left side, like that. Okay, now that you got it laid out like this, now we're going to cap it. We're going to cap this side. We're going to wrap it around three times. So you want to go put it on and go. That's one, two, and three. And do that to this side too. Can you see how I do that? Just put it on like this and wrap it around. That's once, two times, and then three times. Okay, now we're going to put some bands across here. So the first one, we're going to take two bands, like this. We're going to go from this side, and we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to go underneath the middle one, okay? So that's two bands. You just don't want to look, hook it up to the middle part right here. <clears throat> this side, we're going to do a single band, but we're going to double it. So the easiest way I find is you put it on one side like this, stretch it, twist your hand around, Make sure it catches, and then, whoops, harder when you're doing not facing, when it's facing away. Okay, so twist it, okay, and then bring it up and over, like that, okay? And, <clears throat> and that's it. So now it's time to turn it around and to start looping it, okay? Start with either side, so I usually start with this side. Go in there, grab the top two, and then bring it around, and hook it into the middle part. Do the same thing with this side, bring it up, grab the top two bands, bring it up, <clears throat> and loop it into the middle part, like that, okay? Now you're going to do the same thing to here, and to the other side. So. Grab the bottom two, bring it up, hook it up there, and do the same thing with this one. Grab the bottom two, or the two left, hook it around, and then put it up right there. And you can see that kind of got caught right there. Just bring it around like that. All right? Now we're going to do this row. This time we're going to grab the bottom two. Can you see that? Grab the bottom two. 
and then bring it up. Okay, this one's the tight one. Grab the bottom two. It's kind of hard to see that, but grab the bottom two. Carefully bring it up and forward and hook it to that one. Nice and tight. No, the bottom two on this one. Okay, almost done. Now grab this one. <clears throat> bottom two, bring it around to the middle. I like to do the edges first for some reason. And then now the middle part. Okay. Carefully bring it around. Get this really tight. There we go. Now, this one right here, you want to go in there. Grab it. Bring it around. Okay. Do this. And then what I do is I just bring this over and then pull it. Now, if you want to make a little charm, what I do is I take my band, take the edge that I want to put the little this little loopy thingy on, and do it now. Makes it so much easier. So just hook it, grab it through, and then take the top one and bring it over. There you go. And then pull it up. Just like that. Now with this pulled, I take my little crochet hook that I have, take the end that does not have the hook, and I just unband it. Just take it off. Makes it easier to do it this way than it does to try and pull it off. Okay, then I pull the end. Careful about pulling it. Straighten it out a little bit, but see, I didn't have to do too much. And it was already the shape of a heart. Now you have this little band right here. So what I do is I go in here, go back, grab it, pull it through a little bit, and there you go. Kind of hides it. And that's how I make my little heart charm. Thank you, and let me know if you like the video, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, okay? Thank you for listening.